Welcome to 501 Monthly, where we encourage you to work smart, not hard. On today's problem, we have this square inside of this rectangle. We're given dimensions of 7 cm and 8 cm on the top and bottom. And we're asked, what is the perimeter of the big rectangle? Let's first make an observation. We know that this side of the square will be equal to the width of the rectangle. So we'll be solving this using two methods. The first method will be guess and check, and the second method will be algebra. So let's begin by guessing that that square has a side of six. If that is six, then the width is also six, as we see here. Next, that upper left-hand corner will be one, because seven take away six is one and down below will also be 1. So if that is 1 and that is 8 down below, we know that the length of the rectangle will be 9. So the perimeter is 2 times length plus width. So the 9 is the length and the 6 is the width. 9 plus 6 is 15. 2 times 15 gives you 30 centimeters. So that's what we get with our first guess. What if we do a second guess? What if the square had a length of 5. Then instead, the width of the rectangle would be 5 and that little piece in the upper left hand corner would be 2, which means that down below would also be 2. So in this case, the length would be 10. So when we substitute into our formula, 10 plus 5 would give us 15 and the perimeter would still be 30. It appears no matter what value we guess for the size of the square, we still end up with the perimeter of the big rectangle being 30. Let's see if that is true using algebra. So let's imagine that it is some unknown side x. Then the width of the rectangle will be x and that little corner in the upper left hand side will be 7 minus x, which would be the same down below. So the length would be 8 plus 7 minus x, which would simplify to 15 minus x. When we substitute into our formula, we'll have 15 minus x plus the width, which is x. But negative x and positive x, they would cancel each other out, and we're left with 2 times 15, which is 30. So no matter what size the square has, the perimeter will always work out to be 30. So once again, we remind you, work smart, not hard. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button share with others, and subscribe if you're new here.